Hey, 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 all my budgeting friends. I am doing our first budgeting video of 2023 for, for 2024. And yeah, it's been a minute. Um, I don't think that I've actually budgeted since like, I don't know. No, oh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's horrible. It's scary. Um, it's eye opening. Um, it's sc scary. Did I say that one already? Um, it's s very vulnerable with you guys because obviously this is our finances and, um, opening up finances to the internet is a scary thing. And, um, cause everybody has an opinion, of course, um, when I'm watching TikTok videos or anything, um, I have opinions. So I know that others have opinions. So, you know, it, it's just a scary process. So, um, but it is time, it is time and it is time to, get back to pen and paper. Um, I actually am going to probably be doing it on a spreadsheet also. Um, but I definitely still want to do this. I think that writing it down sometimes, um, lets it sink in a little bit more for me. I don't know. Um, but, um, so uh, anyways, last year I set up this whole, um, bullet journal to be a budget. And as you can see, it got used for a few months and I thought that that was going to be the answer. Um, and it was not, <laughs> I still didn't use it. So I am for now going to go back into my regular bullet journal, which I am using a eight by eight square bullet journal. Um, if you haven't seen my whole setup, please go and watch all of that. And I am just going to write it in here. No stickers, no fluff. No, you know, no, none of that. It is literally me and my, um, mild liner <laughs> today and maybe a ruler and my bullet journal. And we're going to write this out. Um, we are not going to go over sinking funds. Our sinking funds are a gosh darn mess. Um, unfortunately at Christmas, I transferred money to wrong places and just screwed it completely up, but I'm slowly getting it back together. Um, and we overspent on Christmas. Um, not gonna lie. Um, we've overspent on Christmas. We are going on a cruise here in March that I'm trying to desperately pay for, uh, with all of the side hustles. Um, because obviously we don't have any money in our budget. <laughs> um, we did have money saved up. We had about, well, my first payment on it was, uh, um, not our first payment. The payment was due in the 1st of January. And I got uh, from our savings that we had savings of, um, I was able to pay about $1,900 of it. So we had $1,900 of it that we were saving up. Um, but man, oh man. Um, is it something that we could afford? Yes and no. <laughs> is it something that we're just going to do because I have a son that is about to graduate and we only have so many summers and spring breaks left with him? Yes. And we will figure it out later at this point. Like that's my mentality at this point. We will, I got to stop saying no, um, in fear of not having money and I will figure it out. Um, so that's where I'm at with that. I know that that's not a belief by a lot of people, especially in the budgeting world. But right now, um, I am at the point where we will figure it out. There will be time to figure it out when my oldest is no longer around the house. Well, you know, like a child anymore. So, um, yeah, so we're saying yes. All right. So it's not going to look too much different. I am keeping pretty much the same. It might be changing here and there in the next couple of months. But in order to get back into the swing of things, it's not going to change. 
Our biggest change was my husband's income, which really hasn't changed, but has changed. Um, and that's because we found out in the middle of 2023 that there was no federal income tax being taken out of his, his check. Um, we have no idea why it happened when there was a business merge at his place and the older business took over his payroll. Um, and it all just happened all so fast that we knew he was supposed to be getting a raise when that happened. And so I thought the extra money was the raise and never, I never checked his W2, I guess, or his pay stubs actually, cause obviously it's online and yeah. Um, so now we're manually, because we still can't figure out, unfortunately, how to get it, the federal income tax to be taken out. We've manually went, in, manually went in and kind of calculated back to other checks and about how much that we should be taking out. And now we are sending that directly. So what we were budgeting off before, it's not what it was really supposed to be. So it's a little bit less. If you are just finding me for the first time, um, in this budgeting journey. Um, you will know that I own my own photography business and here in Michigan in January, uh, there's not many family sessions happening. <laughs> and so it is a tough, um, it is tough from January to March. And essentially most of the time I don't have that much income coming in, if any, including like newborn sessions are hard because People don't want to bring their babies out to sick people and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, you know, negative 10 right now. Nobody is going out with a baby. So I have no sessions on the books, especially also in 2020. My passion for my photography business kind of uh, fizzled away. It's a long story. Um, but right now I am trying to finally put my passion back into my business and revive my business. Um, I'm speaking a lot about that on TikTok. Um, if you want to uh, go over there and support, <laughs> it's at K, um, at yeah, K's photo, I think is what it is. Um, uh, I'll put it in the description below. And so we're, we're, we're in a rebuilding phase of that. And I think it will go well. Um, last year, my sales, my sales were about 40 to 45,000 and I'm hoping to make 60 this year. So we'll see. Um, but for the month of January, I am going to put zero down because honestly, at this point, I am doing a ton of side hustles, including Spark and DoorDash and other things. Um, but right now, every penny that I have been earning for that has went straight to the cruise so that we can pay that off immediately. Um, but going through the numbers... I, the business also has money sitting in it. Um, I just have not paid myself at this point. So if I have to pay myself, I will. Uh, but at this point, it's looking like we're going to be over budget by about $500, if not more. So, uh, yeah, we might have to pay myself or stop paying off the cruise in order to make sure that we have enough money. <laughs> so, and we're really not been... We'll go through it. We'll go through it. Oh, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. So let's go with this. Like I said, this is why I did not want to do this, but you know, you have to, you have to be an adult, right? Can't just keep on going by the seat of our pants. So, okay. So that is income. We'll deal with it when we get there. This is literally just to figure out the numbers. So I do variable and fixed in, um, expenses. Um, and for, for fixed expenses, usually fixed expenses are numbers that do not change month to month. Um, but I do put consumers and 
Yeah, consumers is probably the only one that changes that much. Our Sprint is changing because our new phones and all that good jazz, which our oldest is about to get a job also and pay for some of that. So, um, hopefully that bill will go back down again. <laughs> so, okay. So our, oops, I'm already making mistakes. Okay, so um, I hate the way that that looks and I need to start writing a little bit smaller. This is a new setup for me, so. So eating out, we budget $200. Um, could we go down? Yes, but for us, that is just about, um, There's a point where you can budget. You can say that you're only going to spend a hundred, but if month after month after month you're missing that one hundred, you might as well just bump it. Either a or get on your crap about not eating out. One of the two. But obviously, if month after month we go over, they're like for us sometimes with sports and everything, like it's just hard. And honestly, two hundred dollars of eating out is just not that much anymore, unfortunately. Uh. Gas is $200, groceries, and that might be so far off because I have not been keeping track of all of this. So this January is the month of keeping track of things and figuring out kind of our budget again. Um, groceries is 300, I'm putting 300, but guys, I don't even think that's possible anymore, unfortunately. Household. Not with keeping an eating out budget under 200 on top of it. 100. Sinking funds. We put 300 in. I put 150 in of each check. Um, and then we always have an unbudgeted just in case. All right, so our fixed expenses is our Acadia, which is our car. Oh, I just spelled that wrong. Don't care. It's a $400 payment. We're not even going to keep on saying we're going to refinance that because I never have. I really need to, but I don't even know where to start. So, uh, Chase credit card, we're paying $100 on it. Um, this month we didn't we might not pay a hundred dollars on it because we're paying so much. Our cruise is on this credit card now. Um, so that might actually not happen. <laughs> um, cause we're paying our, their cruise off so fast. So the hundred dollar monthly payment is not happening. I've already put $1,900. I already paid $1,900 of them, that, but we'll deal with that. Um, our car insurance is $238.73, and I have a feeling that's going to go up because we have a teen driver, unfortunately, now. Culligan is $30. Direct TV is $111. If I could get rid of that, guys, I would. Our mortgage is $813. Planet Fitness is now, th I think about $30. Uh, my son ended up getting his own plan because he goes there almost every day now. Again, another one that he's going to eventually pay for. Netflix, which honestly we might get rid of because they keep on raising prices on that and it's getting out of control. And I don't feel like we watch it that much. Sprint 
is $262 is what I'm talking about. There's a lot going into this. It will be going back down to about 230 where it used to be. Um, there's just AirPods that I'm waiting for um, a gift card to come. So like a promo thing and then I'm going to pay it all off. So water bill is always 50. Oh, and I meant to keep this all in alphabetical order, but um, our consumers energy, which is our gas and our electric is $233 um, this month and next month. We're in a very cold spell and I'm very, very nervous on what that is going to mean for our consumer's power bill next month. I don't want to know. So, and our house is only at like 65 degrees. It's out of control. All right. So totaling all of that up is $1,300. And totaling all of this up is $2,287.73. So, if we do, we're just going to use this line. Totals, and we do fixed. And we do variable. And our income is only three thousand. 1324. We all know what's about to come out. I haven't seen my red pen in a while. Let's see. There she is. We are in the negative. $587 and 51 cent? Am I doing that math right? I don't, 50, no, no I'm not. 40, <laughs> I don't have a calculator. I thought I had done all the math and I have not. 73, 20, 13, 9, 49 cents, not almost there, and 49 cents. Um, so, yeah, this is why I said it was scary. <laughs> um, now, if I can get one job, that will pretty much, I will pretty much cover that. Um, I don't have any leads on jobs though, and it is already the 15th of the month. Um, I'm working hard though. And, uh, you know, I did just use some money that I did side hustle to buy groceries. Um, and so I will end up when I go to start doing like our weekly check-ins and all that kind of stuff. Obviously I will add that in to my expected or my income. Um, it's just not expected. Like, I don't know when that income will come. Um, so everything will be fine. Um, I can tell you that everything will be fine. <laughs> The money will be there. And of course, like I said, if I need to supplement with anything from the business, there is money sitting there. I don't like to use it because the business does have expenses that, you know, have to be made. And if I'm not making any money, like, they still have to be made. So, um, 
I don't generally pay myself in January unless I get a job and then I will pay myself because I do prepare for this time in my business for my business just to sit there and not make money. So I keep a certain amount of money in the bank account so that those expenses can be made. So I know that's a lot, but <laughs> that's a business for you. It's always a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so there's that. Um, I've also been looking for jobs and that type of thing. Um, we're going back and forth with that. My husband is like, no, I think you need to stick with the photography thing. I then have, you know, I then say, yes, I think I need to stick with the photography thing. And then I'm like, no, I need to get a job. Well, no, I don't want to do the business thing. It's going back and forth. So, but I know a lot of you have been waiting for this and really wanting, um, to see me back doing on the budgeting side. Um, and I said, yes, you're going to rip the darn bandaid off and you're going to do this. Um, and that's what we're going to do. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. So, um, now that all of the holidays have calmed down and everything, um, that is the best thing for me. Now, a few things. Obviously, I do this, so please like and subscribe if you haven't. If you are new here, I would love you for to subscribe. That always helps. Um, guys, I make like $10 a month doing this, so, um, <laughs> you know. It's not that serious, but all of the likes and all of the, um, subscribes, um, do help. And one day, you know, I would love to make this a thing Two, I have a second channel. It's called create, um, with K it is a scrapbooking and card making now channel. So, um, if you are into that type of thing also, I would love for you to go over there and give me a subscribe. Um, and, um, I've started making cards and stuff to possibly sell here soon on Etsy um, to make a little bit of extra money. Three, I obviously, like I said in the beginning, I am trying to grow my TikToks for both my photography business and my Create with K channel. So I'm gonna link both of those below. And if you like TikTok and are on that platform, I would love for you to go down and uh, follow me and subscribe to me over there. Also, that would really help me because I am trying to make it to a thousand over there on create with K, uh, so that I can go live, um, over there. So all of those things you can do to help and, you know, help me stay at home with my kids and still work on my businesses, um, and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much. I have missed all of you. Let me know in the comments if you've made it this far and I will see you in the next one. Uh, there will definitely be a next one of me checking in and sinking funds because um, I have to get my sinking funds together. So that will be the next one and it will be soon. So be on the lookout for that. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.